Welcome back to another great Photoshop tutorial. My name is Mark Elmo Ellis and this is PhotoshopTrainingForum.com where we teach you how to use Photoshop concisely and clearly to get the results you want. Today we're going to use the tool palette. We're going to get started with that. This is the tool palette over here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to expand this. Now these are all the tools that you can use and they're very very versatile. This is like your main meat and potatoes of your Photoshop program and we're going to change the look of this a little bit see so there's these little tiny arrows right here click on that and you'll notice it doubles up the tool palette makes it a little bit more convenient for you to get to if you want to go back to the way you had it before let's click on it again now over in this section it is now docked it's docked in the side of the page however if you want to move it put your cursor over the PS symbol hold down your left mouse button drag it and you can put it out onto your desktop or into your work area want to put it back to where you got it from put the arrow back over the PS symbol drag it back over and it'll redock again pretty darn simple okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this little symbols down here at the bottom this is a status bar down here and this is your zoom level 50 percent we're at 50 percent of the size of this actually of what this image is and this is your document size down here and this is your this is your zoom level down here okay now the first thing we're going to do with Photoshop is we're going to learn to use the magnifying tool and it's pretty simple to use all we have to do now is put our cursor right over right over the magnifying image and you will notice that a little window pops up says zoom tool this is going to tell you what you're using so this is your zoom tool and we're going to click on that to activate it okay now there's a little minus sign and if you want to toggle it out of the minus sign all you have to do is hit the alternate key and it switches you to a plus or you'll have to hold down your alternate key and drag it across the area and you can zoom in on things uh, if you want to do the opposite zoom out click on the minus while it's in a minus mode okay so if you hold down the alternate key that's the plus now here's the little secret up here at the top here's the toggle up here also if you click on plus you don't have to hold down the alternate key just keep clicking and clicking see that you can zoom in click on the other one zoom out so forth now whatever you start out with that is where you're going to have uh, it change when you push down your alternate key so if you start off with plus and you push down your alternate key it's going to go to a minus and then while you're holding down the alternate key you just click and drag and it'll it'll keep zooming out if you let up on the alternate key and of course the opposite is the exactly the same click on a minus if you hold down the alternate key it turns into a plus so whatever whichever one of these you have activated at the top is what it's going to do so that's how you use the zoom tool now if you want to just zoom in on a particular area let's say for example we're going to zoom in on this face here we're going to click you're going to hold down your left mouse button and it's going to create this little marquee window flashing little uh, dots and look it zooms right in on where you want to go this is a very large image uh, we're going to get into converting images to smaller images later on but this is a large image and the reason I did it was to show you we're at 50 percent here if I keep zooming out by just by activating my minus and just clicking out and clicking out eventually we're going to get to that 16 percent if we wanted to see what the actual 100% was, 33%, 50%, 66%, this is 100% right here. Okay, so that's what you can do with the zoom tool. Once again, this has been Mark Elmo Ellis with PhotoshopTrainingForum.com, where we show you concisely and clearly how to use Photoshop. God bless and have a great day.